that while you ahead, because I'm stuck with this one. It's rare that you have friends that are going to be honest with you. I've lost friends because of my honesty. Because I'm not going to sit here and patty cake you because of how you feel in the moment or because of, uh, you know, sometimes the, your immaturity. You get into a space and you kind of feel stuck or whatever. The, no problem. But if you're coming to me with a situation, I'm going to tell you if that don't make no sense or if that makes sense to me. It is intentional. When you pick up the phone and you dial a phone number, it is intentional. You are very intentional about the person that you are calling. Angry or not, emotion or not. You know, uh, you know, this is like a new, a new verbiage that I heard emotionally intoxicated. Okay, you was angry just like how everybody else get angry. People get mad. This is the things that 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 um that change that make or break the relationship. What are you gonna do when you're angry? Are you gonna go and, and call you know uh somebody and starts you know spilling all this uh you know information that this person was never privy to in your relationship are you going to go over there and call this person and what makes matters worse is that when women do this in relationships they're never telling the 100 percent truth they're telling their feelings their opinion they side oh well he did this and he did that and he did that and and especially if you call somebody i mean obviously somebody like your attorney your mama Okay, your daddy, your uh, friend group that that they kind of, you know, want you back with them. People who are not going to be 100 percent real about the situation and look at the, the, the situation like, OK, let's see. Somebody who does not have um, whenever you call somebody who does not have the both of your best best interests at heart, when they just have your best interests at heart. You do not need to give them any ammunition to be on your side if you want them to give you full balanced advice tell them what you did better yet why don't you call somebody from his somebody who has his best interest at heart and talk to them so they can tell you we have to we have to think this is why a lot of the relationships break up is because people do things off of impulse. They're not thinking. This is why the, the women are the ones who leave the relationship and the men are the ones men are the ones who wade in the water. Because women think, oh, I'm mad, I'm angry. Oh, you know what? I'm out. Then they be the main ones. They thought the grass was green, the grass brown. <laughs> brown as ever. They be thinking they got it. They could do better than him, this, that. And it's all good and fine for the first couple months. That's the one thing I agree with what she said. A lot of these women go out here, first couple months, they fine and dandy. Oh, yeah, you know, they getting they, they uh, you know, they swag back and they feeling like, you know, they the best thing since sliced bread. They got men hollering at them. You know, they free, quote, unquote, they back. They thinking that, you know, somebody better is just going to come and scoop them right on up. Then when the facade fades and reality hits and you're still in the same position, you still have to learn how to uh, relearn or, or re-understand all those same lessons. You still got to figure these things out. You still got to deal with your trauma. You still got to deal with the fact that you had a part to play in this. And the, the part that you played is the reason why the relationship fit. When you start going through all of that stuff, then you be the one talking about, well, maybe we should have been together. Well, you know, maybe I should have said, or, you know, maybe things actually weren't that bad i always say this i said this before many a times i'm gonna say it again you see women leave the relationship and instantly they might feel sadness for a day or two or whatever then instantly they feel better because they have their friends their friend group their homegirls their this their that and in a couple of months their happiness goes like up and they come right back down when reality strikes when they tired of going out, when they coming home alone, when they realize that what what your husband 
was willing to put up with these men are putting up with. With the, the all the fun they thought were happening, that, that they thought was happening was a facade. Then they come. Now they're crying at night. Now they think, oh, I should have, could have, I would have, man. I should have said, I should have, I did. With men, it's the opposite. With men, they're in the relationship. When it when it instantly ends, while women are soaring, they're dealing. They're dealing with the issues. They're dealing with the situation head on. And then their happiness starts to go like this. Because you know what? They always find somebody. <laughs> Whether women can can claim from now till next never that the man was a problem, but the men always find somebody else. They always end up end up in another uh, situation, another relationship, because they're the one who dictates the pace. 